Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker, and tonight we're going to be talking about the Denmark government is begging men not just to please sleep with women. I have to be careful with my thumbnails because Big Mama YouTube is always keeping an eye out for naughty words that uh, they don't like. It's actually begging men to please sleep and get pregnant, the feminists. Yes, they want the, the womenists, the girl power movement. They're having a hard time getting men up for the occasion to be with them. And we're going to talk about that just a little bit. Um, I got a couple of uh, fails here first from the Daily Mo uh, Mail. Proof a father's love is blind. Georgina Lawton's parents were both white, yet her father never asked why the daughter was black. Only after his death did her mother confess she was the result of a one-night stand. <gasps> Shocking. Who would have ever guessed? Writes Francis Hardy. So, I mean, look. Props that she had, she was raised. Props that the guy um, took care of the family. Like, I, I think that's cool. Um, but might have been just as cool to maybe have a conversation with your wife uh, and ask some hard-hitting questions and maybe leave her and be a distant dad to the daughter or maybe get the real father involved. Maybe he'd like to know he has a daughter out there what a hot mess. Um, hopefully she grew up healthy and normal, mentally sound. I don't know. That's just one of those where you're like, everybody, everybody's a loser in this case. Um, I, I pulled this up on another video I did, uh, but I, I wanted to highlight it again. This woman uh, posts, been dating this guy for seven months, and today he asked me why I don't have a boyfriend I've said it before, I'll say it again, secure the relationship before you try to secure the bedroom, ladies, or he may never actually consider that you're dating or serious or committed, and he might just kind of look at you as a play toy. And uh, another one here, uh, this this girl says she's posting about her loss in a relationship. See, the I pull these up. This has 110 likes on it. The reason why I pull these up is it's not a high number of, of likes. It's not something that spreads the web, but it's on Twitter and it's public. And these are the type of people that you're going to run into when you're in the dating world. A young lady posts, I think she's a young lady. Uh, she looks to be a young lady. She says, four years ago, I had the best boyfriend ever that did anything to make me happy. My mama loved him, everything. He bought me the cutest puppy. And I left him for an effing cheating A dealer with four kids. Uh, she says, nurture, nursery retrograde really be effing S up. I'm not sure what nursery retrograde means. And uh, she replies to herself, not to mention the dude I effed with after the dealer. She says, y'all, I'm done testing the waters. I'm sticking to car guys and white dudes. Um, To my Lat Latino friends and to my brothers out there, congratulations. Uh, she's only looking for us. So that's a win for you guys because uh, she's going to ignore you now and, and you're safe. Um, but again, said it before, say it again. You can be a great man to a woman. She had the best boyfriend. Her mother loved him. He bought her a puppy. And she went out and left for a dude that was a dealer uh, of illicit substances with four kids. Sometimes you just, it's that bad boy gene, man. They can smell the bad boy. All right, next one. Uh, this is trust issues. So this dude... He's got a watch that synced up to his phone. And I actually caught a girlfriend cheating on me this way once. She left her uh, watch down in the in, in the, my living room and she was off in another room and she was texting with a dude. And not what, what she sent didn't show up, but what he sent back did. And it was enough that I knew that she was cheating. Anyway, I'll, let me play this video here. I don't think it has sound to it. But what she's doing is he's fallen asleep with his arms crossed over his chest and she's reached over and is swiping very carefully on his watch to see if she can check out any messages that came in. Dude, I'm telling you, man. All right, here's our main story. This is just from like a month, a month, month and a half ago, and I, I snapped it off the archive today. Beg, uh, Denmark <clears throat> begs men to have bedroom relations with its girl power advocates. And for those of you watching, you can see that I have to change some of those words because Mama YouTube... Uh, this is from a blogger. Um, he lives in Denmark, and uh, he says, I love Denmark, 
and the people of Denmark, some of my fondest memories are of riding on horseback through uh, Klompenberg Park and meeting men and women who were generally kind, thoughtful, helpful, and friendly people. Denmark, however, has fallen ill to a festering infection known as womanism. It's the same illness that has taken hold of the rest of Scandinavia, Western Europe, and the UK. Because of this gender uh, infirmity, Denmark's birth rate and its population growth has been plummeting, as is true with most of uh, Western Europe. I think I have a story here. Let me look in my bookmarks, my wild world of bookmarks. And there's another story here where they've got uh, falling... Falling baby juice, falling falling sperm counts threaten human survival, expert worms. Epidemiologist Shanna Swain or Swan says low counts and changes to uh, development could endanger the human spe- uh, species. And basically what she's talking about is basically through the, the chemicals in the water, between um, the way that m- men are kind of being more feminine turning more feminine uh the counts the the uh, counts in the west as far as sperm counts have plummeted by 59 percent between 1973 and 2011 making headlines globally she says following current current projections uh the counts are set to reach zero in 2045 that is 25 years away I hope I'll still be alive. I'll be well past uh, age of having kids. I'm already past that anyway since I got the snip. But that means any most of you, even you gents older than me, will be around when this happens. You might be in your 80s, but you may be around. I would really be curious to see if this is accurate and how much this starts hitting the news where people really start to freak out. Um, I'll leave a link to this story down below if you'd like to read it. Um, But they have some interesting data in here. It's actually... Uh, backed up by data. I didn't look too far into it. I just thought, hey, you know what? I'll bookmark this for a later video, but since it's kind of related, I'll pull it up now. And so anyway, back on to our our, our moderate or our current current article. Uh, They say the girl power advocates have given women in Denmark an, an immunity from civility and license to openly hate and ridicule men. We know this to be true. All you have to do is look at most commercials um, most articles written in newspapers, uh, and even the laws. Look at the laws, and there are women that are being released for crimes that are worse than what men are also oftentimes being imprisoned for. Uh, he says, for example, it's not uncommon for girls to be sitting on a bus in a group and have them openly point to a man and di- discuss how unattractive he is. The Danish legal system is set up so that once a woman has been, quote, impregnated by a man, the man is completely disposable in divorce, and the man's role as the donor is further degraded by requiring him to pay for the child for the rest of his life so that the woman may enjoy her fulfillment as a modern womanist. Uh, we know this is kind of similar here in the United States. 85% of women are given custody of, or the majority of custody of the kids. And in that case, men are required to write a check for at least the next 18 years. And even in some cases, men have been found out to not be the biological father of the child. But because the test wasn't administered in the first year of life, that man is held responsible as the father figure and has to write a check for a kid that isn't even his, that his wife cheated on and got pregnant by somebody else. Welcome to welcome to the 2020s. Welcome to modern era. So United States is like that. UK is like that. I know um, Denmark is like that. I think more Norwegian countries or Scandinavian countries are going that way. I think Australia is starting to pull this way. At what point is there a win for men? And, And I mean this legitimately. Like, yes, you get to sleep with a woman. Congratulations. That may legitimately cost you the next 18 years, or I don't know the way they sound. It sounds like the rest of the the father's life. That may cost you and cost you and keep costing you. I'm telling you, fellas, you got to be careful. The best investment I think I've ever made, the scissors to the huevos. Uh, they continue on. Denmark still imposes the uh, all the obligations of men that have survived uh, medieval chivalry, yet virtually sees men as nothing but completely disposable donors who are occasionally allowed to work in the Danish socialist job market. I think he's being a little sar- sarcastic there, obviously, because men are working. But it is true that they are now looking for job positions specifically to fill quotas 
for women in many different places. So, you know, it's, I mean, it, it is here and we can only do, you can try to vote. You can try to get in people that are not centered around this, but when you're literally, again, it seems like you're literally fighting against all women, plus a lot of guys that go along with this crap, thinking that somehow this will garner them the attention of these women, and it never does. They continue on. The result is that only about 20% of Danish men are actively in the dating pool. Thank you. The 80-20 rule. We talk about it. I just talked about it in the video I did last night. The top 20% of the men are doing all the dating. Now, again, in this case, 80% doesn't mean it's the worst 80%. It also may, might mean the smartest 80%, and a lot of men are not participating. But it does mean that men are being able to be choosy. And who are they going to choose? They're going to choose the feminine, attractive, um, soft-spoken, sweet woman versus the angry, loud, women are strong, yay, women, men suck. They're not going to be with those type of women. They say Danish women are constantly complaining about not having enough men to satisfy their desires for bedroom fun and social intercourse, yet Danish women will vig uh, viciously guard their girl power advocacy, hatred of men, life plans to treat men as disposable, and the concept that men are irrelevant except to give the woman a donation and the child some semblance of legitimacy. One with intellect sensitivity education instead of the indoctrination that the womanism requires and human dignity might think that the solution to uh, and human dignity might think that the solution to this problem would be to encourage women to learn something about human compassion, respect, human value beyond the bedroom and the beauty of binding interpersonal relationships. The Danish government doesn't have any of those problems. Here's the Danish government's solution. This is just one advertisement of an intense propaganda campaign Danish feminist institutions undertook to try to beg men to inseminate Danish women for mom and for the state. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue-tied there tonight. Um, and yes, occasionally I can say like a naughty word every once. It's not really naughty, but according to YouTube, they don't like the womanist you know, the femme word. If you say that too many times, it flags the video. So I get away with it every once in a while if you're wondering why sometimes I slip it in. Anyway, yes, it's the same thing that's going on here. Men are saying, look, ladies, you need to be realistic here. You need to stop and you need to stop complaining about men and saying that we're awful and saying that we're worthless and saying that you're awesome because eventually men are just going to say, you know something, I don't like being treated like this and having a little bit of bedroom fun with a woman, especially one that is of this mindset, is just not worth it. Like, it's just not participating. They will go out and get, they'll get a little, I don't have a, anything around me here. They'll go out and get a little a little pump bottle of lotion and uh, they will get their favorite uh, website or or magazine and they'll take care of business themselves. It's called Post Nut Clarity. I'm, I know many of you gentlemen are uh, very... Um, are very familiar with the term and the practice, but it it takes away that intense urge to want to date, want to sleep with a woman, want to take her out to dinner. Like you clear your mind and you're like, eh, I guess I'm just going to watch a movie. <laughs> like it takes it takes that crazy drive right out of your head. And I'm a, a full advocate for men doing that so they don't keep having these problems of going out and getting themselves in trouble with women. Uh, so here's the thing. The Danish government solution wasn't, and it, same thing in every other place this happens, it's not talking to the women and saying, hey, hey, you know, these are people too. They're humans. You need to treat them with dignity and respect if you'd like them to date you. Nope, they don't care. They're just going to keep pushing ahead, but they're hoping that men's testosterone and their drive to be with a woman will overpower their rationale of, I'm not being treated very well and I don't like how this is turning out for me. And they actually, this is a, this isn't a live link, but I did pull up the video. It is a legitimate commercial. I did find one, one of them, and it's re, the one. It was, it was from a Danish travel agency. I didn't find one of the government ones, but it was p promoting. Hey, if you go on vacation, when you go on vacation, when you take your wife or your woman on vacation, you actually have are fifty percent more likely to have bedroom fun. Now, I don't know about you, but I know a lot of your relationships out there, you guys have complained you're getting zero. 50% more of zero is still zero. So I don't know how much that's going to, how good that's actually going to do for you. But uh, this commercial was saying, look, if you travel, like with our travel agency, uh, Spies Regier, 
Rezier is the leading uh, Danish travel agency. Their advertisement was travel, you'll get more fun. And if you conceive while you're on vacation, you could be entered to win a prize of like a baby carriage or crib and baby food and baby diapers. Like they're get, literally giving away gifts for getting a woman in the motherly way while on vacation. If that's not like trying to talk guys into it, I don't know what it is. Um, I'll pull up the, the video while we're right paused here. I found the exact, pretty much the exact same scene. But what they do is they kind of go through the science of it and they're talking about, um, you know, the lowered birth rates. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think they have a graph right here. Yeah, here's a graph. In 1993, it was around uh, close to 70,000. And in 2013, it is less than 55,000. And I think it's continuing to drop off. It, it It's at a 27-year low, the birth rate says here. And so if you scroll through here, the woman, they go into a hotel. She sits on the bed, blah, blah, blah. Nothing too exciting. But they th this part right here, she comes out wearing the, the lingerie to try to get some, uh, trying to releasing endorphins into the male brain they're talking about. But interestingly enough, right here near the end, um, and this, they're going to talk about this in the article here, so thank you for bearing with me. Right in this scene, which is right about the 1 minute 20 second mark, I'll just play like, i got to mute it here. I'll just play a second of it. She literally spins him and shoves him down onto either the bed or the ground. Now, I know it's meant to be playful, like, oh, she wants him so much that she's going to shove him to the ground. But again, this is a little fun role reversal. Switch it. What if the guy grabbed the woman and threw her on the ground? Oh, that's a no-no. We can't be having that. Anyway, if you look here, she grabs him by the shirt and whoop, and like does a ninja flip and tosses him onto the bed. It's supposed to be fun. I get it. But again, all things got to be equal. If you want them to be equal, if you want everything to be equal, men and women are equal, equal, equal. You got to start doing stuff equal. Anyway, he continues on. Note how the advertisement features a prominent man-hating girl power advocate in the narrative in order to appease the fascist uh, womenist lobby that controls the country's social laws and norms. Note how the advertisement relegates the man to a mere decoration, an accessory, and donor. Baby juice donor. Note how the key solution in the minds of the womenist state is for women to seduce and basically take the man... Um, as opposed to an honest interaction between two adults seeking mutual love, respect, and compassion for each other. Now, I get it. You'll watch the commercial and you'll be like, this is no big deal. <clears throat> and they're kind of going over that. This guy's kind of going over the top with it. I agree. I think he's he's definitely going over the top with his, um, with his assertions here. But there is something to be said that a lot of us guys have noticed over the last 10, 20, 30 years laws are starting to change the perception of men starting to change we're not looked at as providers and because the government's taken that over we're not looked at as looked at as fathers anymore because the mothers and government have taken that and school systems have taken that over um you know and men are growing up today um, without any masculine role models and then women are now starting to complain saying um i was looking online and this doesn't have to do with the politics but i gotta say politics because but there was a lot of women that were saying that they were on the left-leaning aisle and they hated trump but they really wanted to sleep with trump supporters because these are big burly guys they're into uh they're into weapons and they're into lifting and they're in farmers and they're you know, blue collar, you know, buff, big working men. And they were kind of complaining that the, the the left guys that were walking around with the protest signs that were drinking their soy lattes and whatever were weak and skinny and feminine and they weren't into them. And they were saying, is there anybody else out there? And if you look it up, I mean, I'm sure you could find it if you're interested enough. But on Twitter, there were a lot of posts of women saying like, does anybody else feel really bad that like I can't stand that side of the aisle politically, but I want to sleep with all their guys and I want these big burly men to do rough things to me and it really turns me on. And a lot of women were like, yeah, I agree with you. So, you know, it, these... It, it's definitely not working out for it's not working out for Denmark. And the more men that fall into this, yay, girl power, I'm with you, those women are not digging it. And so it's like things are just falling apart. And uh, and and so now they're really having a fall off rate, not only in the dating portion of it, like here, but like I was talking about with the sperm counts falling off a cliff. By 2045, that may be all she wrote. It may just be. I don't know, another country that's not having all these problems, like Africa. I don't think Africa's having any, um, I don't think Africa's ha having any of the same 
uh, problems. I don't think India is, for example. Uh, I'm not sure about other countries, but the ones that haven't fallen into this whole trope and are still just having kids as they always have, uh, I think they'll be able to keep their countries um, alive for the rest of us. So anyway, he continues on. Um, so do it for Denmark. The mass media propaganda campaign was a, an abysmal failure in Denmark. The government remains clueless. Something is indeed rotten in the state of Denmark. And they have a couple of pictures here. So you guys get it. I'll leave the link to this story. I'll leave a link to the video if you want to watch it. I mean, it's nothing great. It's just a commercial and I've kind of given you uh, everything about it. And I'll gi give a link to the uh, low the low count for um, for men, and and then you can you can read about maybe we're all going to be extinct, maybe we'll, we're the last generation around. If that's the case, then it is what it is. All right, now it is time for our dating profiles of the day. Oh, this this woman is thirty two years old. She's five. She now these are her words exactly. She's thirty two. Five foot, that's width, not height. Now, obviously, she's being playful. She's not five feet wide. Um, but at least she knows she's got a couple extra pounds, I guess she's uh, hinting to. Looking for a husband because I cannot be bothered to attempt any more flat packs alone. I guess she's moving and she wants to pack up her apartment or her flat and she doesn't want to do it by herself. So she wants a husband. Wow. Forever love great to feel needed isn't it guys manual labor she says cute enough to take your breath away and first aid trained so i can bring it back again that's eh, cute pros can eat 40 chicken nuggets in one sitting cons will eat 40 chicken nuggets in one sitting i don't know if she's being real i could not choke down six of those things probably without being violently ill um but you're at least saying something about your shape when you're talking like that too old to keep dating F boys. Shocking. 32, magic age. Now I'm done with all the F boys. They've all used and had their fun and tossed me away, and now I'm, I'm not getting attention anymore. So now it's time to be serious. No more fun. No more hookups. No more bedroom. Serious. She says if you're serious about this position, please apply in writing and attach a cover, a CV, a cover letter. Uh, many thanks. Um, the fact that you think you're going to have a line of applicants for being five foot wide and being able to eat 40 chicken nuggets in one sitting, I don't think you really understand what men are looking for in the dating world. Maybe it's just me. Maybe there are some of you gentlemen that like to swig Mountain Dew, eat lots of uh, pizza, burgers, and any gal that can put down 40 chicken nuggets in one sitting is your kind of gal. She's out there for you, fellas. Get to swiping. All right, and last one. There was no fo photo on this one, but... Again, it's a uh, it's another pre pretty big L. And and this remember, this is not a woman posting her loss. This is a woman posting a this is a dating profile. Her her she identifies not as a female, not as a male. She identifies as whatever the F. She's into music, she's into mental health awareness. She's a cat lover. She likes art and she also enjoys the alphabet community. She says real S. I'm giving Tinder one last chance. Last match I had got me pregnant in a month and treated me like absolute S, to say the least. So I got rid of the kid, and when I got home from it, he decided to go ultra D on me and break up with me through Snapchat Messenger. I'm just going to pause it there for a second. Um, again, I, I know I make fun of a lot of these. I don't know how old she is. But... I mean, after a month, you've got to protect yourselves. You've got to protect yourselves and not have these kids until you're in a stable relationship. And and she ended up getting rid of it. And that's a life lost for a stupid mistake. Do these people ever learn? Too often, too often I don't think they do. Um, she continues, and, and again, obviously he was a jerk. I, I, I mean, I'm putting this on him as well because uh, he broke up with her. And But... She says, PSA, stay away from anyone that goes by any of these names. And she gave four names that I whited out. Unless you want to make the biggest mistake of your life. So then she takes this opportunity to basically um, dox this guy. Um, 
I'm telling you, man. Uh, she says, probably will end up deleting this soon. I've pretty much given up on everything. It's not, you know, uh, it's it's a fail. I mean, you guys need to know about this stuff. You need to see it. You need to know what's out there. You might not run across this as dating app, but the next time you see a cute girl and you decide to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to ask her out. Maybe she'd like to go out and get a bite to eat. This may be the person that you're meeting and talking to, except she's just not putting it out and wearing it up front so you can see it. And it's just, dating is such a mess right now, fellas. Dating is such a, a mess. Um, Guys, if you haven't joined me over on Locals, betterbachelor.locals.com. The Locals website has a lot of celebrities, a lot of people moving over there because they're getting off Twitter and Facebook and these other places. A lot of conservatives especially, um, but a lot of people are moving over there. So Locals isn't just my community. It's many of them over there. You can join me over on betterbachelor.locals.com. It's free. You can support me over there if you'd like and get special access to personal ma uh, messaging me for advice or questions or hey, just telling me you love the shape of my head, and uh, as well as you get um, uh, some special videos that I do over there for, for um, supporters as well as podcasts. I'm, I'm having brain fog tonight. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time to think. Uh, for the rest of you, the best way you can support me is like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out my older videos, and I will leave it there. This is Better Bachelor. I am Joker, and remember, um, you know, it's until women start coming back around where they respect men, where they understand what we bring to the table, where they appreciate what we are, eventually all men, except maybe the very dumb or the very young, are going to learn that the bedroom is not enough enough to keep a man's attention. And he's not going to subject, subject himself to all these problems just for a little bit of fun. Because eventually, it's not really so much fun. <laughs>